Candles. Charlotte, Matt Schick, Paul B. and Carney, where else would you rather be? A little bit closer to you. <laughs> Trip to the dance on the line. Tip controlled by the Camels. Sorry, you mentioned pace of play. What do we anticipate here for Campbell? Execution. They want to run deep into the shot clock. They look for threes, layups, constant movement. As soon as you make a mistake defensively, they make you pay. UNC Asheville 2 and 0 against Campbell this season. You can see there'll be a lot of late clock situations. Five already. Delorso working on Burgess. Got to get it up. Does and that's exactly what they want. Well, he's taking the most shots for Campbell over the three-game win streak here in the Big South tournament. Delorso. Yesterday he took 16 shots in the win against Radford, averaging 19 a game in the three games here in Charlotte. Fletcher Avey, that one off the front, McMullen, strong rebound. McMullen was a man yesterday against Radford. Just yeah. works the glass, stays in the paint. Great combination with Drew Pember. And back-to-back double-doubles heading into the Big South Tournament. The transfer from Murray State in the starting lineup tonight. And we're all square a minute in. Another man to watch here for Campbell. It's Jay Powell. Kicks it out. Get him a smoke seconds. Two on the shot clock. Del Orso, yes. Back-to-back -back buckets as the shot clock expires. He's 45% in the last three games from three. He's taken 11 threes. He's made five. He's averaging 19 points a game. Take away his airspace. Three ball from the other side. That's Fletcher Amy, the transfer from the Citadel. That's just his second made three in the Big South Tournament this season. Steady force. Eight points a game for Asheville. Knows how to play off of Jones and Pember. Here's Ricky Clemens, one of the most experienced players in the Big South. Kicks it to Powell. Powell. Yeah, rattles that one home. Jay Powell, a 33% three-point shooter in the Jacksonville State transfer. He's going to be key in this game on the defensive end, covering Drew Pember, number four in the white for Asheville. He's got length. He's got athleticism. Can he body him up? Look at the Camels surrounding him on the dribble. They double. Drew Pember in the near corner. Here's Burgess navigating to the hoop. That one misses. Good defense there by the Camels. Del Orso, big South freshman of the year. The big buzzer beating shot yesterday. Pal, that one a little firm. That's their first miss of the day. They hit their first three. Drew Pember, big South player of the year from three. That one short. One and done for Asheville. That's going to be important for Campbell as the Bulldogs certainly great on the glass. They're an excellent defensive rebounding team, and they need to be this afternoon. Wisteris, no. Pal tries to save it, nearly does, and this will go to UNC Asheville. Coach Mike Morrell, this has been such a, an amazing journey. 27 losses in year one. A win today would be 27 wins in year five and a trip to the tournament. And when he started out, he had a depleted roster. His first season, only four wins. And now five years later, a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. What a rebuild by Mike Morrell. Morrell's been great. Amy, even better here today. He's in his first couple of shots, couple of threes for Amy. Not only can A.B. make shots, but he does a lot of things that don't show up on the stats. The ability to defend. Loose balls. He just does all these smart things for Asheville. Yeah, player of the year, defensive player of the year, coach of the year. They've got it all as Deloroso draws contact on the way. Hot streak entering here. Eight consecutive wins. 17 of their last 18 have been in the winning side. Here's A.B. You know, they run the dribble handoff action. They like to play in the middle third of the court. That eliminates help defense. It allows you to get downhill. It's a potent offensive team, Asheville. 75 points per game. That's tops in the Big South in scoring offense. And the top 30 nationally in field goal percentage as well. Big South Championship, look at the three games for the Big South Freshman of the Year. We, you saw in the open he was carrying a trophy. He was carrying the Big South Freshman of the Year trophy into the arena today. 
Hoping to carry a different sort of trophy out of here at Bojangles Coliseum. Great find for Kevin McGinn. Evaluated him on tape during COVID. Didn't know exactly what he was going to get, but he knew he had size and skill. Amy again. The hot hand. Three straight makes. UNC Asheville back out in front. Coach Morrell calls him an unsung hero. Makes a lot of positive plays that maybe don't show up in the game, but show up on the film. Nice cut there. That's Moksekis. Kick out. Good recovery defense. Del Orso for three. That one off the right side. Good offensive put back by Jay Powell. He is a hard rocking dude on the offensive glass. He must be boxed out. Played for Eric Barons at Omaha Central High School, the Omaha native. The big offensive rebound. Aby. That one short. Pember, the offensive rebound. That tip. Aby, extra pass. There's the three point shooter. That one too strong. That's Tayshawn Jones, the career leader in threes for UNC Asheville, the all time leading scorer in program history. Here's Powell, working on the shorter Burgess. Too strong, Jones, strong rebound here. Campbell is at their best when they make multiple passes per possession. Deshaun Jones trying to break down the defender. Kick out, A.B. gets his man in the air. Bombs away again! Well, the subtle shot fake created the space. And Fletcher A.B., the junior, knocked it down. The transfer from the Citadel. Has all three threes for UNC Asheville. Sat out last season as a transfer. Enjoying his playing time this year and tonight. Boisteris for three. Good box out there by Doc Battle. Back to Aby. Heat check. That one off the front. He's gonna love the way Asheville looks for the hot hand with Aby. They know he's hot. They're trying to just give him as many opportunities as possible. Clemens lost that one to Moksakis. No good. Rebound battle. Campbell shooting a little quick. Yesterday against Radford and Longwood, they really exercised on offense. Multiple passes. Finally, a whistle. It's hard to see it in real time, but when you go to the monitor, you get it right. UNC Astro with a two-point lead. Any adjustments you want to see? Oh, inbound! Jones nearly cast in on the steal. The only thing for Campbell is to run deeper into the shot clock. They're shooting a little quick. Keep Asheville on defense. Wait for the breakdown. Joshua Lusain. No, again, those are those early shots. First couple of possessions, they waited till late, late in the clock to get their shots off. Caldwell, that one off the front. Because the more you play an up-tempo game, the more it favors Asheville. Mike Morrell saying, hey, we each believe, these two teams believe, that basketball should be played a different way. And they're into pressure. Steals, deflections, and transition offense. But Campbell, they want to execute, get threes and layups, get back into their matchup defense, get back to their zone defense. At times, they want to outthink you throughout the game. Give them again, 10th season with Campbell. Big South Coach of the Year back in 2019. Coach under Chris Mooney at Richmond. Delors. Oh, that one rejected from battle. Pal is there with the payback. Powell is just fantastic on the offensive glass. Sprinkles in the three-point shot, but he is best at driving the basketball, hitting the glass. He is something Campbell has not had in the past in the front court. And Campbell in the Big South Championship. Go for their last two in the Big South Tournament title game. They made it in 2017 and 2021. And Lost by an average of 23 points in those two games. Third Big South Championship game in seven years. Can they finish this Cinderella run? The seventh seed in the Big South. Matt, four games, four wins in five days. Fatigue eventually could be a factor in this game. Jay Powell driving out Pember. Kick out. That's why you want the double buy or the single buy. Conference tournament action. Ricky Clemens, tough left hand. Pember 
With the rebound. Break next with somewhere at the under 12. Drew Pember, 0 for 1 so far here today. He doesn't force the action. He's a star that gets his throughout the course of the game. Alex Caldwell transferred from Southeast Missouri State off the heel. That one tipped to Jones. Another miss, pal. The key for Pember is not just offensively, but defensively to challenge shots at the rim, block some shots, and be a king on the defensive glass. Campbell with 13 points. Two players have scored. DeLoso and Powell have combined for those 13. You see the quick double by Jones. Devon Dunn! Devin Dunn, the transfer from Fairley Dickinson. Fairley Dickinson, his former school, going to make the tournament as well. And Dunn, last six games, just his second made three as that one rims in from Caldwell. Well, the upside is you get the ball out of Pember's hands, but the downside is someone on the weak side is going to be open. And this Campbell team, they don't shoot it great from a percentage standpoint, but they make timely shots. Joshua Lusane working his way in, gets that one to fall. That's a nice move. He is a load inside, Lusane. Sophomore out of Georgia, but averaging eight points a game. Here in this Big South Tournament, Pember trying to take matters into his own left hand. It does. That's his first bucket for the Big South Player of the Year. Campbell has played Asheville tough in their two meetings. In fact, at Campbell, they were up 17 in the first half. Mike Morrell didn't have to make any adjustments, but he did have to get into his team a little bit more. Great feet inside from Powell to Delorso. Delorso really does a great job of moving without the basketball. He is an elite cutter. The ability to read his man, and when you move and get open, the ball will find you. Already eight points for Delorso, had 23, a game high in the semifinal win. And McGee has got a look what he's seeing so far here from the Camel. Started the game five of eight. That man right there, Fletcher Abey, a big reason why with three threes. Since then, they've missed seven of their last nine shots. What do you want to see the Bulldogs do differently offensively? More touches for Drew Pember. Doesn't have to shoot it, but when he touches it, it forces the defense to collapse. You were saying? Collapse. You know, he's the type of guy that goes to the beach, okay, Drew Pember, and he puts his feet in the water to see if it's how warm, how cold, and then he goes out a little bit further. Then he eventually dives in, and when he does, you're in trouble. I was going to say, that's kind of what I do, too. That's where the similarities end, I suppose. Yeah, but you're wearing a life jacket. <laughs> he goes in, no shirt. Uh, I am certainly fully clothed. Ricky Clements, hand off there to Hussein. That one a little strong. Rebound, Pember. You know, Pember doesn't force himself into the action. His teammates do a great job of finding him. Kind of a great pump fake. It's the drive. Trying to get it to Jones. And here are the Camels. Jay Powell looking ahead. Kick out three. Done. Hits the three. They got a four-point lead. Largest lead of the game. And the fighting Camel faithful here at Bojangles to their feet. Nashville's been in this situation before, as I said, down 17 to Campbell the first time they played in the first half. But they can't afford to do that in a championship game. Good give there to Jones. Pember can do it all, especially off the pass. He, he is a triple threat player. The ability to shoot it, pass it, and drive it all at 6'11". Drew Pember with four points, three rebounds. And an assist. Clemens, strong left hand, no rebound, Pember. You know, there's really no way to stop Drew Pember. You try to contain him. I think you have to go at him on the defensive end. Pember, that one too firm. Here's Battle trying to save it. Oh, did it go off his foot as well? It did. And it's going like a gazelle. What did you glean from your Mike Morrell huddle with UNC Asheville? A very positive huddle. First thing he addressed Mike Morrell was the three-point shooting of Campbell. You've got to chase Dunn off the line. And Del Orso, if they get it up, you haven't done your job. Del Orso. Well, he got it up and saved here. He talked about taking away their airspace 
on the jump shot. On the offensive end, we got to continue to attack. Find Drew Pember in the middle of the floor. And stay with it. Stay positive. We've been in this situation before. We know who we are. Dejan Jones, three ball. He's misfired on a pair. Matt, all eyes were on Mike Morrell. The communication, the confidence, and the poise by Asheville. You could feel it in the huddle. Drew Pember gets the block. Top 20 in blocks per game nationally. Well, Pember's not a leaper, but he is long. He's got to be careful of coming down with his arms. And that's an opportunity for the official to make a foul call against him. And it is vital that he stays in this game. Two-point lead for Campbell. Looking for their first NCAA tournament bid in 31 years. It's been seven years for UNC Asheville. Good feed, battle, hanging, and scoring. Javon Doc Battle, the senior out of Richmond, draws the foul from Boisteris on a great feed from Burgess. Battle just goes to the basket on penetration. He's one of the toughest guys in the Big South. Physically strong, plays with great desire. Mike Morrell said to him in the huddle last time he did a really good job and he slapped him five. That might have motivated him to finish that play. Burgess, conference leader in assists per game at four and a half. And a nice feed there. Tied at 23, six and a half minutes to go here in this first half. The one seed, regular season champion, UNC Asheville. And the seventh seed, the Campbell Fighting Camels. Winner heads to the NCAA tournament. Delorso, been a little quiet recently. Kick out wide open for Jay Powell. Hits the three. But too much help on the penetration. First of all, you can't allow feet in the paint. On the defensive end. Secondly, if you're gonna help, then you have to help the helper. Somebody has to come down. Jajon Jones finally gets the lid off the basket for him. Sixth tie of this game between the Bulldogs and Candles. Jones shoots 45% from three. That is top five nationally. His 94th made three on the season. That's top 20 nationally. Nice job on the ball screen. They string it out with a hard hedge. Delorso lost his man. Open baseline. Jay, no. Oh, look at inside. Nearly got that one to go. Jay Powell getting a rebound from behind. Drew Pember, let's go back to the Jones three. Jones comes off a little pinned down by Drew Pember. The defense is worried about Pember screening and slipping. you got to chase him off the screen, which means you have to follow him wherever he goes. Tayshawn Jones. You can't take an inside route, and you can't be there late. Tayshawn Jones, program's leading scorer. Most threes in program history. And 14 points away from going into the top 12 in all-time scoring for Big South history. And you talk to Mike Morrell, he's like, look, he was a part of those 27 losses there in year one. He stuck it out. He's been here. He was a cornerstone. And Hopefully it pays off here with a win for them today. You mean those four wins, <laughs> yeah, right. not the 27 losses. That's They're right. too negative. It's a part of those 31 games. Look for Pember in the middle of the floor in a ball screen or a dribble handoff action. Campbell needs to deny him a little bit further out, make the catch farther away. Maybe. Defended by Dunn. A.B. tough shot off the front. Good box out there. Battle couldn't get to it. Here's Del Orso. The other shots by A.B. were in rhythm and wide open. That time I thought he forced it. Oysteris hand off to Clements. Left hand dribble for the senior. Kick out Moksekis. Defended by Jones. Clements thought about the three. Drives left hand. Another kick out. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Eight on the shot clock. Oysteris. Working on Pember. Left hand. Tough shot. Tell you what, Drew Pember was sleeping that time defensively. He was standing straight up as opposed to in a stance. Nice feed inside. Oh! Drew Pember gets it and the bucket. Moisteris tried to offer resistance. But not enough as Pember goes to the line. You see Pember with a little quick slip. 
He acted like he was going to come out and catch the ball. That little step cut set up the back cut. He leads the nation in free throws attempted and free throws made. And he shoots it at 84%. Drew Pember. Nobody in the country has made or attempted more free throws than the Big South Player of the Year. Now, for Campbell, continue to go deep into the clock. If you don't get threes, hard back cuts for layups. That puts pressure on the defense. Powell for three. Amy strong rebound. Not many fast break points for Asheville in this game. And that's what Mike Morrell said, you know, the last time they played in that game in Asheville. They were just unable to get out and run. Forcing UNC Asheville to just play on the perimeter a little bit tonight. Well, you got to make stops to run. And Asheville was number one in the Big South. Defending the three. And in field goal percentage defense. So they can guard. Del Orso. From Melbourne, Australia, puts that one in, and the Big South freshman of the year is now in double figures and a four-point lead for Kevin McGeehan's team. Three wins, Campbell, Del Orso, and Pal, averaging 19 and 17 points per game. They have become the go-to guys for Campbell in the last three games. You have to limit their touches, gear your defense towards them. Pember, tough shot. That's great defense there by Jay Powell, the senior out of Omaha. Campbell doing a great job not only of defending UNC Asheville, but not allowing them to get to the line. 0 of 2 from the line today. And how about the largest lead of the day? Jay Powell with another bucket, a six-point advantage. He's shooting 60% from the field. He gets his shots in the paint. He's an alert cutter. And that time he was wide open. In their three wins, Campbell, another stat that jumps out to me is they've made more free throws than their opponent have attempted. Nice cut by Powell. Pember's got to meet him earlier. Powell's been great in this tournament, averaging 15 a game in two games leading up to today. He's got 14 already here in the first half. Bad pass by Burgess, Corral by McMullen. Ten on the shot clock. McMullen working inside, tough shot. No, and the tip by Pember, the Big South Player of the Year. He's got eight. Well, Pember's not going to panic. He has not had a great first half, and defensively, he's been a little bit lax. But as the game goes on, he continues to get touches. It's going to be hard to stop as he starts to assert himself. Hussein nearly, he did fall, nearly traveled. Instead, turns it over to Avi. Burgess, Pember, wide open three. He never loses his confidence. Whether he's having a great game or a poor game. He is dialed into the game. The fifth made three for UNC Asheville in the first for Pember today. Clemens, strong drive there on Amy. No. Oh, and the follow flush by Jay Powell. Take that, Powell. The table was rocking on that dunk. Nearly My lost goodness. Your, nearly lost your monitor there. It's like a mini earthquake. Drew Pember has scored Asheville's previous seven points. Doesn't get a touch on that possession. Rebound here, though, to Avey. Avey, pump fake on Delorso. McMullen gets it poked away. Three-point game here, about a minute to go here in the first half. McMullen trying to go up strong with it. Jump ball, possession arrow, Campbell. The Campbell has been fighting on defense. They didn't find Pember quick enough. And he's got a quick trigger. Clemens, quick drive. Powell, strong flush. He does a great job of anticipating the missed shot. Jay Powell. Your pal. 
There's a PayPal joke in there that I won't use today. Three-point lead for Campbell less than a minute to go here in the Big South Championship game. Winner punches the ticket and advances to the NCAA tournament. Clemens held there on the shot by A.B. Ricky Clemens will go to the free throw line. The senior out of North Carolina. Six straight games in double figures, shooting 81% from the floor in the Big South tournament. Now for the 38th year, Champ Week continues on the networks of ESPN tomorrow with the West Coast Conference semifinals. Then at 11.30 Eastern on ESPN2, both are also available on ESPN, the ESPN app. BYU St. Mary's St. Uh, San Francisco and Gonzaga. ESPN, ESPN 2. Just the start of a great, great week coming your way as Champ Reek rolls on. 16 second differential between shot and game. Campbell in a 3 2 zone. They got J Powell at the top. They love to change their defense. Man zone. Look at that cut from Pember again. Great feed from Burgess. Gave a little stutter step and darted to the paint. Anytime you go to a matchup zone or to a straight zone, the slip is there. Pember found it. Pember's got 11 timeout here for Campbell. Kevin McGeehan wants to talk his last nine points. He's got back-to-back double-doubles and four in his last five games. He's five rebounds away from another one here. 20 seconds to go here in the first half. The seven seed looking to go into the locker room with the lead on the number one seed in regular season champ Bulldogs. What do you want to see here? Del Orso. They look for him. Don't want to see that. Active Five. hands. Tejon Jones. And a foul. And again, had a foul. I don't see any substitutions in the game. That would allow you to give one. Right. You don't want one of your starters or main guys to get a foul. Sure. It's got to go to Pember. Pember with three. Three is good, but the official calls a foul on the floor. So he did give the foul right on the catch. It was Ricky Clemens. Watch this. Clemens goes for the foul. Pember feels it, shoots it. Almost backfired. So it, say, it shaves a second off the clock. See what they do here. Pember looking for the basketball. Pember fade away. And that does not get off in time. They're going to wave that one off. They're going to look at the monitor. But from our vantage point, that was pretty their first game in the Big South Tournament a couple of days ago. Went 22 of 24 by himself. That's a Big South Tournament game record. Today, 0 for 2 as a team in the first half. Yeah, Pember takes and makes the most free throws in the nation. So he's got to be more aggressive, looking for the ball, getting open. And then one, once he catches it, he's got to attack the basket. Campbell, 10 and 5 this season. When leading at the half, 0 and 2 this year against the UNC Asheville Bulldogs. Late shot clock here. Drew Pember stripped. Gets the blocking call as he nearly lost his balance on his way to the rim. I like the first possession by Asheville of having Pember catch the ball. They call it at the pinch post, the elbow. Catches it, surveys, gets in a little bit of trouble. But they bumped him before the travel. Pember, oh, the inbound goes awry. Unforced error there for the Bulldog. And that's Caleb Burgess, who is the best when it comes to assist and turnovers on this Asheville team. That's five turnovers for the Bulldogs. Pretty clean first half between these two teams. Yeah, low turnover game, low foul game. Campbell only turned the ball over seven times in the semifinal win over Radford. Trap there in the corner. Good skip pass there to Clemens. Watches his feet. Seven on the shot clock. That was a great pass. Powell, right-handed shot over the Big South Player of the Year. Del Orso gets the hockey assist on that. If he doesn't throw it out of the double team, the play never happens. Pember, that one negated there by the Campbell fighting Camels. What are they doing to impact Pember there when he drives? They're challenging without fouling. 
It's huge when you can contest the shot and not commit a foul. Del Orso, oh, what a feed to Powell! The two-handed stuff! Seven-point lead! I know we're in Charlotte, but he looks like LaMelo Ball right now. The assist game, the cleverness, the passing. Only a freshman. Largest lead, the Camels from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. With a seven-point lead, two minutes into this second half. Pember. Pember gets the whistle, and Kevin McGeehan not thrilled with that call. Feels like the player of the year is getting bailed out there. Well, the defense is loading up, but how about this one by Powell? A deep-running fadeaway jump hook. Delorso into the paint, takes two, drops it off. But it was that skip pass he made a moment ago. He was trapped below the free throw line on the right corner. He skipped it and made a complete pass, which Powell ended up finishing. Pember, that's the first made free throw of the day for the Bulldogs. Our ESPN NBA Sunday night doubleheader starts with Jason Tatum and the Celtics hosting the Knicks. That begins at 7.30 Eastern. Followed by Desmond Bain and the Grizz. Taking on Kawhi, Paul George, and the Clippers. Coverage tips at 7 Eastern with NBA countdown. Of course, no John Morant for the next couple of days as they head to L.A. to face the Clippers and then the Lakers on Tuesday. Five-point game here. What do the Bulldogs need to do differently, Paul? Tighten up their defense. Mike Morrell said, if we get 35 deflections in a game, we win 97% of the time. Burgess nearly cashed in on the pilfer. Instead, we're going the other way. Clemens to step through. Pittenberg the block, but a foul on A.B. prior to that. And that's been the common thing all year for Asheville. Yes, it's been Drew Pember on the offensive end and Tayshawn Jones and Burgess. But they got to this point with their defense. They're number one in the Big South, field goal percentage defense, and number one defending the three. They got to get a little more aggressive here in the last 17 and change. You're wondering, is this game, is this game flying by? Yeah, it is. Look at the free throw numbers. That, that'll, that'll get you to whistles pretty quickly. Those under 16s, under 12s. We didn't hit the under 16 in the first half till about 13 and a half minutes to go in that half. Here's Clemens, his fifth year with the program, 90th career start. That one a little shot. What a great story, though, Ricky Clemens. Yeah. Cam comes in as a walk-on, then gets a scholarship. Now he's all Big South second team. Remarkable. No, no relation to Chris Clemens, who was the fourth all-time leading scorer in NCAA history. Officials getting together. Officials today, Bill Covington, A.J. Desai, and Justin Porterfield. The seventh seed is 0-5 in the Big South Championship game. All of those losses have come against the one seed. The seventh seed with a six-point lead, two and a half to go, two and a half in, excuse me, in the second half. A.B. can't find the bottom. When Pember catches the ball in the middle of the floor, all eyes are on him. He had four black shirts in the help position. They have to move off the ball a little bit more, Asheville, to move the help. Aloso, good feet. Oysteris, kick out three. Pump fake, drive. That one off the glass rim, sound rebound. Inside, Pember with the block. And they'll call it a jump ball. Possession arrow stays right here. Watch the action down low. The pump fake. Pember gets a clean. He's got to be careful staying on balance. Look at all the eyes when Pember catches the ball. His man is on him. Four black shirts. Everybody looking at Pember. They're trying to shrink the floor. They're doing a great job. Another block for Pember. Nearly a number, another three for Powell. Look at Delorso sprinting to the bench, getting held up there by the assistants and his teammates. You're playing for a Big South championship. You're playing for a trip to the NCAA tournament. Dive into the seats. Their fourth game in five nights for the Fighting Camels. They've knocked off the two seed. They've knocked off the three seed. Can they knock off the one seed? And don't forget, they beat Longwood, who beat them twice during the season. 
And a moving screen. That foul is going to be on A.B. And that's his third. McGeehan gets a good whistle for his team and a six-point lead here. 16.41 to go in this contest. If you're Asheville, you got to dig in defensively, pressure the ball a little bit more. Just strive to get deflections. Clean up the defensive glass. If you're Campbell, keep Asheville on defense. Clemens, left hand, rims in. Unless you got a layup. The senior out of Roseville, North Carolina. An invited walk-on turned into a scholarship. And this has turned into an eight-point lead for the seventh seed. Nice feed there, Pember. Battle can't find it, but a foul. Just a simple cut by Battle as Pember puts it on the deck. Watch the penetration by Clemens. A.B. has his stance way too open. Clemens goes right to the basket. 26 points. I'm sorry, 24 points right now for Campbell in the paint. Is that number surprising to you, knowing the storyline going in? No, because they score in the paint with layups, not so much drives. Yeah, yeah. But to have that many points in the paint at this juncture, yes. Fletcher Amy had three early threes in the first ten minutes of this game. He's on the bench now with three fouls. And again, the free throw line, UNC Asheville usually takes advantage of it. Just three of six so far today. Roy Starris defended by McMullen. Here's Jay Powell. Out of Omaha. That one rims out. McMullen the rebound. Here's Caleb Burgess. Again, they try to get out and run. Inside. Oh, what a feed from Pepper. That's what makes him so dangerous. He is a triple threat player. The ability to shoot it, pass it, or drive it at 6'11". He's got great passing vision. The former transfer from Tennessee. Now getting it done here with UNC Asheville. Clemens. Oh, how about Jay Powell? That is a tough offensive rebound and put back. Powell is creating pain for Asheville. McMullen, left hand, yes. If you're Asheville, you want this pace to increase. They have zero fast break points in this game, Asheville. Incredible. And, and that's a tribute to Campbell. Scoring the ball and getting back defensively. No fast break points for either team. Inside. The lower so no, that was a good feed. See if they can get out and run. Here's Burgess. The handoff to Pember. Jones might be an offensive foul, and it is. Oh, he was about to call the block. Mike Morrell wants the officials to have the pressure of the moment, the weight of a one seed trailing to the seven seed factor into this final 14 minutes. Well, as the lead grows, I think that's when the pressure gets greater. If it can get to double digits, and that puts enormous pressure on Asheville. If they can stay where they are right now, one, two, three possessions, their confidence should stay strong. It has been since 1992 that Campbell has last made the tournament. We're talking about 31 years. Been a drought in the desert for the Camels. Will they find their oasis, Paul B. And Cardi? I don't know, but I need a bottle of water after that. <laughs> it, the offense for Asheville has been stagnant at times. Sometimes I think they look for Drew Pember too much. Yeah. They don't move without the ball enough in this game. The Campbell defensively has been good. They've changed their defense a little bit, not much. I'd like to see more cutting and screening by Asheville on the offensive end. Eight turnovers for UNC Asheville. Pal. That one a little short. UNC Asheville get out and run a little bit. Not here. Pember lowers the shoulder. Pember blocked from behind. Pember lost it on the way up. Great defense there by Joshua Lusane. And Campbell is a low foul team by nature. And today they've defended without committing foolish fouls. Feet inside Clements. Lou 
Lusane. Driving on Pember. Lusane. Kick out. Five on the shot clock. Clemens, the senior. No. Tim. Yes. Anthony DeLuzzo, the freshman out of Australia. Big South freshman of the year. He gives get, Campbell a seven point lead. He moves without the ball in subtle ways. That's how we got the game winning shot. Campbell drove it. Didn't have anything. Dropped it off to DeLuzzo for the game winner. Just on that basket alone. Jones, good bounce feed here to McMullen. To Pember. Lost it out of bounds. It will stay here. With active hands. They're just, well, they're digging. They're raking. Yeah, they're, they're all over him, and he puts that ball in the deck, too. Okay, right here. He could have got called oh, for a push-off. Sure, yeah. Clean block. Clean strip. Great awareness. Orso just slices in. Nobody for Asheville on the block out. You've got to throw the ball up high to Pember. And if he doesn't have it, he's got to gather it, put it under his chin, and power it up. See, he's got to go to that ball, Matt, a little bit tougher, a little bit stronger, and not so much with his upper body. But he's got to get into Pal with his lower body, then get open. He's got to cut into the space. Just two points in the second half for Pember. As that clock continues to tick, that pressure continues to mount. And in a team like Campbell that likes to slow things down, each possession becomes even more important. They'll run their offensive sets even with more deliverance. Three ball in the corner! Devin Dunn! Well, that's the one guy Asheville staff said him and Deloso cannot get shots up behind the arc. Dunn was one for 17 from three in his last six games. He's hit two today. Pember gets just his second bucket of the second half. And that was a big answer because the lead went to 10. Now it's back to eight. If you're Asheville, you need consecutive stops and scores right now. Pal inside, drives right on Drew Pember. Jay Pal, the senior from Omaha, Nebraska, is having the game of his life. He's got 24 points, and Campbell has a 10-point lead on the regular season champ. He's quicker, more alert, and more aggressive than Pember. McMullen draws the foul, will go to the free throw line. We're at the under 12. Headed to the Colonial next season as well. And you look at what has happened here in this game. UNC Asheville with nine second half points. Jay Powell has eight second half points. Well, points off of turnovers have hurt Asheville in this game. Campbell, 11 points on Asheville's nine turnovers. McMullen, 48% free throw shooter, so he makes one of two. And Campbell, they're not going to beat themselves when it comes to turnovers. They only have four. Only had seven in the semifinal win over Radford. Just it's four today. Interesting right now. Asheville with the zone. Mike Morell getting out of the man-to-man. -man. Let's see if the zone can seduce Campbell into some bad shots. It's a nine-point lead, less than 11 to go. That one off the side of the backboard. What happens is when you go zone, Campbell cannot run their Princeton-style man-to-man offense. Good move by Mike Morell. Caleb Burgess. Trying to find a teammate, looking at McMullen. Cross-court feed to battle. Battle, yeah, blocking foul. As getting in the way there was Devin Dunn. That is his third. Don't forget these two coaches know each other pretty well from their time as an assistant coach. Morell with Chaka Smart at VCU. Kevin McGeehan with Chris Mooney at Richmond. They run very different styles. And Mike Morell said, we, we both believe that basketball should be played a different way. Not saying either way is correct, but it is different. UNC Asheville wants to get out and run. They have been unable to do so. No fast break points in this game nearly had him there Clemens yes 11 point lead for the seventh seed Anthony DeOrso with the denial big time defensive play 
Taylor Burgess, great defense from the Camels. McMullen the handoff. Avey baseline, Jay, that's well short. Jones the rebound. Jones is good. And the foul. Yeah, for Tejon Jones, the three ball has not been falling today. He's only got seven points. He'll try and finish it at the three point line. A great D here from Delorso. He has the correct arm in the passing lane. What a block by Pember. And Ricky Clemens following the action for the second chance opportunity. Jones working the glass. It may be the only way right now for Asheville to get back into this game, get closer. Is the free throw line and some defensive pressure extended? Now they're in a 2 2 1. They'll go back to a 2 3 zone. Mike Morrell clapping his hands, as are the Bulldog faithful who have made the two hour jaunt from Asheville to Charlotte. More standing right now by Campbell because of the zone. Jay Pat gets it on the low block. Yeah. And he's had an answer for everybody. For Jay Powell, that's a new career high. 26 points for the senior from Omaha, Nebraska. Powell impacts the shot foul on the way up from Pember. And he's impacted this game, yes, on the offensive end. But he has neutralized Drew Pember in many ways. Gets to the elbow. Two dribble pull up off the glass. He's got great balance when he gets into his jump shot. And he has that short roll, short jump shot ability. That is his third personal foul. Seventh this half for Campbell. What a tournament Jay Powell has had. The transfer from Jacksonville State. Again, the free throw line, you mentioned it at the half. They have more free throws attempted and made here in this second half than they had in the first half in fact didn't make any in that first half and now they are seven of nine from the strike mike morrell employing for some pressure if they're going to play zone their hands have to be out and up more active take away the vision for campbell now they're back man Open Clemens three. Ricky Clemens, his first three of the day. And Campbell back up by double digits. Inside, there's Pepper. Ricky Clemens, three for five in the last three games from three, 60%. He's been hot. Pal. Burgess falls. Blocking foul on Kayla Burgess. And for Burgess, that is his second. Watch this here. Burgess sinking in. Late on the closeout. Anytime they dribble at their teammate from the top down, they're going to get the backdoor cut. And Asheville's been a step slow in this game defensively. Boy, Steris left open for three! Lorenus Mosteris, the junior out of Lithuania. Rebound Campbell. 12-point lead for Asheville, their largest deficit of the tournament. The number one seed is on the ropes. Running their offense. Boy, Steris inside the feed goes out of bounds. We'll stay here with four on the shot clock. We've reached the oh, under eight. 39 away from knocking off the one, Paul Biancardi. Still a lot of time to go. 7.39 is a lifetime in college basketball. At the end of the shot clock, it's Clements. No resistance by Asheville. Pat Murna McMullen out of bounds. That will stay here. 14-point lead 
for the seven seed in the Big South. And the way Campbell plays on the offensive end, that 14-point lead, Matt, that, that could feel like 24. They're not going to shoot quick. They're going to make you guard. And they've been defending. It's been a great recipe. Foul on Mason Grant. UNC Asheville came into this game winners of eight straight and 17 of their last 18. But it's all about when you go to conference tournaments, it changes. Because everybody starts over again. And everybody knows each other so well. There's a level of desperation. There's a level of urgency. Champ Week rolls on today. Three more women's title games. SEC Championship 3 Eastern on ESPN. The Big Ten title game next. And here on ESPN 2, the Pac-12 championship game. Drew Pember has nine points here in this half. The rest of the team has nine points here in this half. Now Pember has outscored his teammates here in this second frame. That's really been the difference here. Not a lot of help and some really good defense from Campbell. Well, Campbell has defended him well. They've helped on him extremely well. They scored 13 points off of 10 turnovers for Asheville. And they have 34 points in the paint. It's been a combination of drives and back cuts. And, and, and now you're going to see Asheville extend, and, and Campbell's not going to rush it. And no fast break points for either team today. Done. Three. No. Cow was there, but a rebound from Battle. Burgess trying to push. Hand off to Pember. Pember for three. Off the heel. Rebound done. One and done. Only one for six from three by Drew Pember. Three would have brought him to within single digits. Turnover, unforced error, ball Bulldogs. Nick McMullen get a check back in for the Bulldogs in place of Doc Battle. And if you're Asheville, continue to get Pember touches, but let's get ball movement as well. And if we score, let's get into our pressure. pressure. Pember. Driving on Powell. Powell's got three fouls. Kick out. A.B. They got to trust each other right now, Asheville. McMullen. Handoff. It's Tayshaun Jones trying to break three. Four three. Just his second made three of the night. And it pulls him to within single digits. Now, if you're Campbell, don't panic. Use your back cuts. Back screens. And short passes. Jay Powell, career high 26. Spin move on McMullen. Might have had some steps, and we do. That's a turnover for Campbell. 26 points. Third 20 point game in his last eight games. And a nine point lead. UNC Asheville, what do you think they draw up here? Again, Pember touching, a Jones shooting. Jones, no good on the three. Rebound Campbell again, one and done for Asheville. Little quick, little deep. He is an outstanding shooter. But I think you can get a shot like that anytime. They need some ball movement and man movement to create open looks. Is Campbell going to take any shot down the stretch with fewer than 10 seconds on the shot clock? Oh, here's Jones! Tayshaun Jones! <laughs> Seven-point lead for Campbell, a 7-0 run for the Bulldogs. That's the strength of this team, Asheville. The ability to score with their defense. They've been quiet all game. Trying to come to life right now. Watch out for the back cut by Campbell. It is heavy overplay by Asheville. Jones trailing Delorso. Eight on the shot clock. Clemens in trouble. Five on the shot clock. Lutzane, lefty good. Oh, what a tough move to the paint for Joshua Lutzane. What a clinic by Campbell. They embraced the double team, went to the middle and scored. Jones for three and the foul. Dejan Jones. His fourth three of the night.
when Drew Pember sets a screen and his man is hugging him. It's a double screen. That allows Jones to get some daylight to the basket. If you give him a little bit of time and space, He's an elite jump shooter. Check that, his third made three of the night. Just had five points in that first half. He's got 11 here in this second half. Mike Morrell saying, come on, let's press. Let's go. They need to make their free throws. Only nine of 14. Tejon Jones has scored Asheville's last eight points. It's a six point lead here in the Big South Championship. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Under four to go. Hard blitz on the ball screen. Lusain, that one's short. Oh, that one poked free by Lusain, corralled by Jones. The aggressiveness on defense by Asheville is giving them offense. Jones, spin move, left hand is good! The senior's starting to take over, that's ten straight for Tejon Jones. If you Campbell, don't panic. Continue to screen and cut. There's a back door if you want it, because Asheville is super aggressive on the wings. A 14-point lead has been trimmed to four in the last four minutes. Powell, five on the shot clock. Jay Powell to Clemens, left hand. That three is good! Ricky Clemens with his second made three! Feels like he's been a Big South member for 20 years. 18 points. Scored the last 10 points for Asheville. See if they give him a look here. Down seven. You can run a screening action for Jones to get him coming off a of Pember. Then you'd have to defend two of the best offensive players in the Big South at once. Jones. Difficult to do. McMullen off the screen. Jones for three. Big time screen by McMullen. Might have been moving. Four-point lead for Campbell. DeLorso up ahead. The lead was as big as 14 with seven and a half to go. It's now four with two and a half to go. And Campbell has four guys averaging double figures, so anyone can score right now. Lusain, right hand, tough shot, rebound, McMullen. Tejon Jones is on a heater. Senior on a freshman. Pember, left hand off glass, and one! <laughs> Drew Pember's getting some help. You got the senior, Tejon Jones. Momentum and confidence has shifted in this game. Because of Tayshawn Jones, now Drew Pember. Asheville with a chance to cut it to one. Drew Pember. Looking for a game-high 26 points if he can knock this one in. No one has made and attempted more free throws in all of college basketball than Drew Pember. A 20-5 run for UNC Asheville. They're within one with two minutes to go. Clemens has had a hot hand as well. Gets that one to fall. That's a tough shot for the senior. They're back up three. Matt, he's made timely shots, big shots. Drives to the basket. Clemens shoot nearly 75% in this tournament. He has risen to the occasion time and again. He's got 17. The defense is so spread out for Asheville. The drive is there. Trying to just get that ball to Tayshaun Jones. And that's what Asheville's going to do down the stretch. Play with Jones and Pember in the middle of the court. Ball screens and dribble handoffs. How about three guys on Ricky Clemens? Patient, tough, with great body control. It's been a great battle. Clemens, Jones, guys that have been with their programs for 
Five years. Drew Pember in his second year. Transfer from Tennessee. Big South Player of the Year. Now within two. And Pember now seven for eight from the free throw line. He was 0 for 1 at the half. Eight of nine, make it nine of ten, and now a one-point lead. Could see a trap in the backcourt. You have to come and meet the pass. If you're Campbell, do not go one-on-one. -on -one. Run your offense. Keep Asheville on defense. Try to execute a layup or an open three. Big South Championship on the line. Auto bid at stake. Clemens foul on the way. Going up, he'll go to the line. Campbell's going to run their offense, but there are two guys that can break off the offense. It's Ricky Campbell. I'm sorry, Ricky Clemens and Anthony Del Orso. Those guys can break it off in a moment's notice, and they have the bright green light to do so. Ricky Clemens, the former walk-on, earned a scholarship following his sophomore year. He's been a great presence tonight. Free throw would make it a two-point game. Only one person is sleeping here at Bojangles Coliseum. Clemens off the heel. Fight for the board. McMullen the rebound. One point game, minute to go. Jones rises, fires. Yeah! UNC Asheville has the lead. Their first since it was 13 11 in the first half. A two point lead for the number one seed. And a foul on A.B. is fourth. Anthony Del Orso has been quiet here in the last 10 minutes of the second half. Tayshawn Jones has gotten hotter in the second half. He has put Asheville on his back right now, and he's trying to get a Big South championship and an invitation to the NCAA tournament. 19 second half points for Jones. Asheville up two. That one goes off McMullen's knee. It'll stay here, eight on the shot clock. You've got to keep him out of the lane if you're Asheville. Big South freshman of the year, Delorso. Ten points in the first half, just two in the second half. Delorso looking for a kick out. Powell for three. That one rims out. Rebound Burgess. Wow, Drew Pember went to help. And he left Jay Powell wide open in the corner. They were so worried about Ricky Clemens to the basket. Watch Drew Pember go in and help. Four in the white. Watch him help on Delorso. Excuse me. Forgot about Powell. Big time block out. And for Ricky Clemens, he's at half court right now. His last moments as a Campbell fighting Campbell fouls out with a heroic effort with 17 points. Took advantage of the COVID season. Came back for another one. He fouls out with 17. And now UNC Asheville with a chance to close this one out at the free throw line. Still 20 seconds to go here in the second half in a game where Campbell led by 14 points with a little more than seven minutes to go. UNC Asheville's come all the way back. And now a two-point lead, Caleb Burgess. 61% on the season from the free throw line. Now for Campbell, you got to block out. You just mentioned 61%. All you need is a two to tie this game up. You've got to stay locked in and focused on what you want to do offensively. It's a three-point game. Yeah, you still can go for a two. I would go for a two. Now you have to run a quick hitter. Here's Delorso. Big South, freshman of the year. Gets the screen. Step back three for Delorso. That one is short. Pember the rebound and the foul. UNC Asheville can smell it now. A three-point lead. And 
Drew Pember, the nation's leading free throw maker, will go to the line. And look who's defending, Del Orso. Tayshawn Jones. He's had steals in the second half. He's played airtight defense. And he has been as hot as ever from the three-point line. Campbell was so good at going to the basket. That was a subtle jump shot by Del Orso. 24-7 run for Asheville in the last seven minutes. This is a very important free throw here for Drew Pember. Campbell, the Cinderella story here in the Big South Tournament. Beat the three seed, beat the two seed, had a 14-point lead on the one seed. Drew Pember at the line. Nails that one, and they're up four. Two-possession game. Mike Morrell shouting no fouls. Delorso for three. No rebound. Pember. And that's it. The UNC Asheville.